Hey beautiful, welcome or welcome back. If you're new here, I'm so glad you stopped in. My name is Jeannie. I sincerely hope by the end of the video, you would decide to stick around, hit the subscribe button, become part of my beauty YouTube family. I am so sorry. My two toddlers are amped up right now and I think they just got in trouble for something because they're crying, but they have been, um, they both have double ear infections and sinus infections. They've been sick for like a whole month after starting daycare for the first time ever in their lives. They're two and three. And um, as soon as they started daycare, it was like they were sick the first week and it never went away really. I finally brought them into the doctors and these poor kids, they have an ear infection in both ears, both of them, and a sinus infection. Um, so today is a full three days on antibiotics and they're feeling a lot better. So they are just amped up to the, to the heavens. <laughs> so um, anyhow, that's neither here nor there. But if you hear some distractions, I'm sorry, my house is chaotic most days and there's just not much I can do about that. But um it has been a minute since I have been on and that is not uh, by choice or how I wanted it to be. If I could be here on every night with you guys, I would. Uh, I took a job as a general manager of a restaurant and my hours have went from, I don't know, maybe like somewhere around like 25 or 30 hours a week to 45 plus sometimes a week. And then of course, my, my teenager, my two toddlers, um, and I just am having a really hard time trying to find a balance with all of this, but I will. So hang in there. Thank you so much to those of you who still click on my videos, even though they are a lot. Um, they're like, they're not as much as they used to be. I thank you for your support here and I will find a better balance. Um, I'm still kind of settling into the new job and, um, things are going to get better, but I do love my job and, um, I do love doing this as well. So I really need to find that balance. So for today's video, we're going to get into my glam bag Ipsy for the month of October. I finally just got it today and I also do have some add-ons with this order. So funny story, um, this, this bag was shipped out on, I want to say like the 10th and finally a couple days ago I had been checking like maybe once a week on the tracking and uh it had not moved in like over like 20 days so I contacted Ipsy I let them know and they did end up sending me out a replacement bag which is now in transit um a replacement bag and then I think two of Oh, you know what? As I'm thinking about this, I just realized one of my add-ons for this bag was completely missing. But, so two of the add-ons that I got, they still had in stock and those will be included in my makeup bag. And now that I'm thinking about it, I'm really glad for that because I didn't receive that add-on in this bag. But there were a few of the add-ons that they no longer had in stock. I was refunded for those. And then a replacement bag was sent out. And then all of a sudden, randomly, this showed up today. So this is the October Ipsy Glam Bag. I really like the feel of this bag. Sometimes the bags have a cheap feel to them. This actually is a really nice, thick, sturdy feel to it. Of course, I love anything that has to do with Halloween. So I love that. And the little zipper is like a little spider. So I think it's just freaking adorable. And I'm sorry, I've got someone calling in. Let me swipe that out. Um, but, um, I do, I do have to let you know, you guys, I did cancel the Glam Bag Plus bag. So I'm going to be getting the Glam Bag and the Glam Bag X on those months. Um, because it just was getting to be too much money wise. And I had not been happy with the Glam Bag Plus in a hot minute. It was like constant repeats now from BoxyCharm and products that I'm just not excited about. So when I, uh, get all of the BoxyCharm boxes and all of the Ipsies and I'm spending all of this money, I better be like excited about it. Otherwise, like it's time to let it go. I've got three kids. I've got Christmas right around the corner, which was a huge deciding factor on letting some of my subscriptions go. Um, and I just, it's, it's too much. I don't have a place to store all this stuff and it's getting to be very expensive. But typically, I actually really like the little glam bags. Now, 
This bag is about $14 now, I believe. You get five products and typically they will be like deluxe size sample products. I do really like getting to try different things and then deciding if it's something I like enough to get a full size product of. Um, but you do get some full size products in here as well. And that's the story on the glam bag. So for the glam bag, you do get to choose one of your products. And this was my choice. It's by Youth to the People. And it is their green tea, sp spinach, and vitamins superfood cleanser. This is a deluxe size sample. And you guys, I've got to say, it's for a deluxe size sample, it's a glass bottle. And... You can see the consistency of it is pretty thick. That is a decent size, um, like trial size for a cleanser. Because think about how much you use. You use like the smallest amount. Like to me, that's like, I mean, it's not a full size, but it's definitely enough to get this will last me for months. So for a trial size, I'm really happy with that. This is a brand that I'm super intrigued by. And I've tried a few things from them lately from my Ipsy Glam Bag. And I've really, really liked them. I ended up getting an eye cream. I think this is the third month in a row that I had a Youth to the People product in my choices. And I chose it all three times. The first time was an eye cream. The second time was like a regular face cream. And this time we have a cleanser. So... I am excited about that. Now, next, I did get a brush from, I want to say, like, Y2K or that brand. So, this is, like, a perfect, like, highlighting brush as far as I'm concerned or even setting under the eyes. But I really like brush it, brushes shaped like this to, like, just put on a little bit of powder highlight when I want to wear it. Um... It feels really nice and soft. I like that it's black and pink. I think that's cute. I think that the shape of it is a little bit distorted from being in the bag, um, but I'm sure that it will come back together. It does feel really soft and really nice, and I do like when I get brushes in my bags. So I was happy for that. Now, next I got, this is so cute. It's a little eyeshadow single from Ciate London. It, it's so stinking cute, their packaging with the bow. And it's just like it'll, itty little bitty things, just they get me. It's, it's so cute. But this is a single shadow. And if I remember correctly, I can't get it out of the box here. If I remember correctly, the shade was in like Peach Please or Peach Pleaser or something like that. So that is the shade. It's a really pretty shimmer. Definitely like a good everyday lid color. I'm not going to swatch it though because, guys, I have so many eyeshadows. I feel like I would swatch it and who knows if I would even ever really use it not that like I wouldn't want to but I just typically I don't like I'll just pull out, pull out a palette and do my eyeshadow look I'm not gonna go like when I'm getting ready searching for like a single shadow but I do think that it would be something nice to toss into a larger giveaway here on the channel or as like a little stocking stuffer for maybe my um my niece for Christmas so we'll find a good home for it, but I'm not going to swatch it because I don't want it to go to waste. Now, next, I did get a full-size product. This is from e.l.f., and it is their Big Mood Mascara. Um, I can't remember if I've tried this mascara or not, but I have so many mascaras. So, again, I'm not going to open it. Um, you can see right there. That's what the wand is supposed to look like on it. But I just have so many mascaras. I literally have like a whole drawer full of ones that are open and ones that are still in the box. So I'm going to use this for a giveaway or for a gift to somebody. And yeah, so now this is something, this is the next product. I feel like I've gotten this product several times. I feel like as though <laughs> I've got about four of these in a drawer upstairs somewhere, but it is from Feel, F-E-E-L, and it is their Vitamin E Balm. So I might actually give this a go now that I, I like have, I know I've got at least three of these. It's something that I like get like every couple months in my bag for some reason, but it might be good for like 
hands and feet coming into these cold months, especially um, for somebody like me who is on the drier side or is like extremely dry in the winter. On the drier side in the summer and extremely dry in the winter. My face, my hands, my feet, my knees, my elbows. So I'll definitely give this a go. If it's something that I like, then awesome because I've got some backups. <laughs> okay, now let's go into my add-ons. I did pick up this Anastasia Beverly Hills Magic Touch Concealer. Um, this is not a concealer that I have tried, so I'm really excited about it. It's got a kind of like one of those oval doe foot applicators. It looks to be pretty thick and creamy. We'll try it here on the channel together. If this is a product that you've tried in the past, let me know how you feel about it. I love my concealers. It's one of my most loved things in makeup because I do have natural dark circles under my eyes and I really like a nice bright under eye area. Um, I don't really use concealer anywhere else on my face except for the under eyes maybe a little bit around the rims of my nose where I get a little bit of redness but I don't typically get acne or and I don't really have any scars or anything that I need to cover up but I do love a good brightening concealer but being dry skinned and also being a little bit more mature and my skin is starting to mature I really have to be picky and choosy with the concealers that I use because sometimes a bad concealer can make you look worse than if you didn't have any on at all. Like cakey and dry and crackly and that is not what I'm about. So hopefully this will be a good concealer. I'll definitely uh, try it here with you guys. Now, um, my next add-on was from Babe Lash. I have went through an entire tube or an entire tube of this, and I am now on to my second one, and I love it so much. I have tried so many different lash serums, and a lot of them are good. This just happens to be on another level for me. The results that I get, my lashes are so much longer and thicker than they used to be. The problem is, is that if you stop using it, they begin to thin out and, and go back to the way that they were. I don't know how this happens. It's so bizarre to me. I really want to look up the science on that because literally if I like don't use it for a week, I start seeing like patches in my lashes where some of them are super short and then the ones that had grown are really long and it makes it really awkward for a couple weeks until they grow in again. So that's one thing that I don't love, but I just get too good of results from this. I can't tell you the last time I put a pair of lashes on because the results from using this are so dang good and it works for me so it is expensive so if I can get it on an ipsy or boxy charm sale I will I will buy multiples because it's whoops it's something that I want to continue to use once you achieve your desired results with it or you feel like you know you got the maximum result that you're going to get from it then you can go down to just using it like every couple days, maybe every two to three days. You don't have to use it every night at that point. But I will tell you the results that I have got from this, like I said, are too great to ignore. So I picked up another one of those because I'm on my, I'm, I just started a second tube and that would be the last one that I have. So now I have a backup. And then um, the other, I got, I got another add-on. It was one of the LYS Beauty um, matte cream bronzers. So I was actually really excited to try that. Um, but they did tell me that is going to be included in my makeup bag. So um, like my redo bag, because this one was lost in the mail and then magically arrived. So I do have to give it to Ipsy for their customer service and for how they go about making things right. I wasn't even questioned like, oh, you know, like this or that. I didn't have to jump through any hoops. They just gave me a refund for the add-ons that they no longer had available to send with my makeup bag and sent me a makeup bag and it was I got the email within 48 hours that it was on the way and um so I gotta give it to them there and then there was this as an add-on I'm also getting this again in the makeup bag and I I it was an accident I did not put it in to my cart on purpose 
uh, but apparently I must have hit it on accident and didn't realize it. But uh, so we got them. It's a shampoo and conditioner duo from, what does that say? The Rerum? I don't know. So it's supposed to be a shampoo and conditioner duo, I suppose. <laughs> Let's give it a smell. Hmm, it smells very, like, herbally. And I also just got it all over. So I, I do not love the packaging on this. Um, You take the top off, and then you have to flip the top over to close it. I don't, I don't love that because then there's product all over here and all over my hand. So it almost smells like minty and herbally. It might be really nice. I'll definitely give it a go now that I have it, and I'm getting another set. But it wasn't a purposeful... Ooh, okay, so something was definitely just dropped up there. I'm gonna go make sure everybody's okay. We're gonna call it quits for tonight. Thank you so much for taking the time to hang out. You guys, I'm gonna make a conscious effort to um, come up with a schedule for my YouTube. So even if it's just two days a week, you know that you can count on me on those days for a video. I'll keep you guys updated on what days and when that's going to start. Um, but I miss you guys. And thank you so much for taking the time to hang out. I will see you so very soon in my next one.